Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Gary from the Orange City campus of Living Water Community Church with your regular Tuesday update, but uh, in a different light. Uh, this is actually uh, the third update that I've done over the last few days, and part of the reason that we're doing so many of these is because I want you to stay connected. I want you to be aware that we are trying our best to respond well as an organization, as a community church, as an Orange City campus. And so as you continue to see me give these updates, my hope is that you continue to see glimpses of God in our response and glimpses of that non-anxious presence that I think we're called to be. In terms of responding well, uh, we are having several meetings over the next couple of days that I just want you to be aware of and recognize. I'm meeting with the Orange City Ministerial uh, this afternoon, and we're going to talk about how we as a group of churches can come together to maybe stand in the gap. Uh, to maybe fill a need that the community has to do something that shows us being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. I'm also meeting with our staff, with the Orange City Campus staff, to be able to respond well. What does children's education look like? What do our usual midweek programs look like? We're going to hopefully answer some of those questions as we go. And then, of course, I'm meeting with uh, Pastor Jesse, with um, Arlen Scott, the chair of council, to maybe make some of the uh, widespread decisions in terms of both campuses to maybe respond well in terms of what does it look like on a Sunday? Uh, what do worship services look like? All of those kind of things. So I just ask you to please continue to follow us on Facebook, continue to follow these updates, your email updates, your Twitter updates, all of those things so that the information continues to trickle in for you so that you understand that this is an ongoing process. Right now, uh, just like so many other churches, we're in uncharted water so to speak. Uh, we're making a new normal as we go. And so what does that new normal look like for Living Water Community Church? We're going to continue to answer that question as we go forward. So just please stay connected and stay understanding that this is an ongoing process. Uh, a couple of the things that I can absolutely assure you of is that we will not have youth group tomorrow night. We will not have midweek programs uh, at the Orange City campus. We won't be gathering for those things over the next couple of days for sure. I can also in, um, fairly certainly tell you that Sunday will look different. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it will look like, but it will likely look different. And so I'll be able to answer some of those questions for you in the next few days, but I'll just ask again that you stay patient with us and that you stay as that non-anxious presence as much as you possibly can. I also want to invite you to a couple of things. Uh, online is going to be a new normal going forward here, right? And so uh, if you have me on Facebook, uh, my personal account especially, uh, I invited you to an online Bible study for the next five days, uh, walking through 1 Peter. I think that's going to be a really big uh, lesson for us as Peter was writing this letter to a church that was in a time of stress, in a time of wondering. That has something to say to us for sure. So make sure that you either uh, accept that invite or uh, send me an email and I'll make sure that you have that invite. I also want to offer to you and um, remind you of the fact that Living Water Community Church wants you to have Right Now Media. Uh, this can be a time of a lot of sitting around and wondering, uh, a lot of sitting around and maybe getting bored. I know my kids are at home getting bored on their own. And part of what we encourage then is some positive programming. Uh, you're going to be in front of the screen most likely anyways. Uh, and so sit in front of the Right Now Media opportunity. Sit in front of some really positive things that are coming in in on the online Bible study that way. Uh, you can search for all kinds of conferences that way. You can search for all kinds of lessons. You can have everything from uh, the Phil Vischer, what's in the Bible, to the IF conference, to the IF gathering. You can have all of those kind of things. So make sure that you are checking out Right Now Media. If you don't know how to do that, send me an email and I can make sure that you have step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to do that. With all that being said, uh, do not forget the message that I think I've said over the last couple of updates. Our God is in control and our God is good. And those things do not change. Uh, we still serve a sovereign God. We still serve a loving God. And as this 
wondering time kind of happens. It can be like we're being tossed around on waves, but we have a God who controls those waves. We have a Savior who was sleeping in the boat and stood up and commanded the waves to stop. We serve a God who is bigger than anything that we can see in this world. And so I ask you, and I'm reminding myself in this too, place your trust in him. Place your trust in him so that I can be a calm, anxious, uh, non-anxious presence in the midst of what is happening in our world right now. Continue to pray. Uh, I've given a couple of resources for what a prayer time might look like. Uh, you have the Pray the Word uh, book that we handed out a few weeks ago. Continue to spend time in prayer, not only asking for um, God to subside this virus, but even more than that, asking him to help us respond well, to send more and more of his fruit of the Spirit so that we can be the ones that point to him. This is such a perfect time. This is a time when the fields are ripe, when people need to know their Savior, when people need to know the hope that is in Jesus Christ. And how great would it be for us to respond with that answer? Uh, how great would it be for us to respond really well with Jesus Christ? And so taking him with us, we respond to this world in a positive way. At Living Water Church, we, commute, we uh, continue to seek to follow Jesus by loving God and loving others. And now more than ever, I really believe that's what's needed. So continue to do that. Continue to follow him however you possibly can. Whether you are socially distanced at home, whether you are checking in to work just for a little bit, whatever it may look like, just continue to be an example of Jesus Christ in this world. My hope and my prayers go with each one of you. May God bless you. May he keep you. May, his, may he make his face to shine upon you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace.